Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Seth Carter, and for my Pachacha, I decided to talk about the Iron Bowl, which a lot of people consider the greatest rivalry in all of sports. <clears throat> um, the game has been played 79 times over the course of over 100 years. The two teams did not meet in, from 1907 to 1948. In the state of Alabama, the population will stand still for this game on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And it's between the Auburn Tigers and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Um, it's divided fan bases. I've seen marriages broken up over this game before. Uh, and uh, the traditions you need to know about the Iron Bowl are Auburn may be called the Tigers, but we are often considered the War Eagles because of a, a kind of an old story. Basically, all the fans scream War Eagle because of because of this old story based on a Civil War veteran who, after surviving a bloody battle, he nursed an eagle he found on the battlefield back to health and took it to the first Auburn game. The eagle took the field as soon as Auburn scored their first touchdown and they won their first game. And afterwards, the eagle died. But his spirit lives on with Auburn fans forever. Um, uh, the Iron Bowl was actually due to a uh, legislature debate called the Grant or the uh, Moral Land Grant Act concerning 240,000 acres of land. Before Auburn was a university, the time the Tide alumni were controlling all of this and they wanted all the land for themselves. The two teams met and the first Iron Bowl was played on February 22nd, 1893, which was a 32 to 22 victory for Auburn. They would play again in November that year, which Auburn did secure another victory, although the score is kind of hard to find an exact, you know, verified score for that game. Um, the two team, or, well, by 1907 is the only tie in the Iron Bowl history. Um, a lot of heated legislative things were going on, and the coaches weren't feeling the game because... There was a lot of trickery on both sides, and Mike Donahue threatened to stop coaching, and then the series got suspended in 1907. The two teams would not meet for 41 years, and then in 1948, Alabama beat Auburn 55 to nothing, which was the most lopsided victory in this series. They would meet regularly that year from then on out and play 72 more games <clears throat> up to today. Uh... James Ralph Shug Jordan took over the Auburn Tigers in 51 to turn the program around. Uh, he he won nine total Iron Bowls, five in a row, and he also gave us our first national title in 57 with a defense that allowed three touchdowns per game. Three touchdowns for the whole season, actually. I'm sorry. And then Alabama took the lead of the series in 1950 to 53 with four consecutive wins. Auburn would win 54 to 58 including the 57 Tigers who won the national title. Although we were ahead at first, Alabama was about to gain one of the greatest coaches in sports history, and his name was Paul William Bear Bryant. Uh, he won 19 Iron Bowls, nine in a row, six national titles, 12 conference titles. He coached Pat Dye, who became an Auburn great, and he died after the first Auburn game ever won at Jordan Hare, which was a 23-22 loss. 71, Auburn got its first Heisman Trophy winner, and that's odd because John Heisman coached at Auburn himself in 1895. Pat Sullivan had 18 touchdowns and 541 yards in a season, and he ironically lost to Alabama runner-up Heisman quarterback that year. Um, notable games, uh, the punt, Bama punt, Auburn was down 16 to nothing. They got a field goal and they got two blocked punts that ran back for touchdowns by Bill Newton and made the score 17 16. There's a bar in Auburn named 17 16 because of this win. Um, it's the second most painful loss in the series history. Auburn's first, uh, second Heisman Trophy winner was in 1985 with Bo Jackson, who got a sheet stat. His stat sheets was 278 rushes and 1780, 17. 186 yards and 17 touchdowns. His record was broken by Trey Mason in 2013. And throughout the 80s, the, the rivalry gained 
a lot of attention in the media because there were so many close games. There was two Auburn victories with Bo Jackson. There was one where Bo went the wrong way, and there was one that involved a last-minute kick, which was the tied for the longest in Iron Bowl history made. And his name was uh, Van Tiffen. He, Mike Shula led them down to the Auburn 36, and he made a 52-yard field goal. As time expired, Alabama won the game 25-23, to and the game was called The Kick. Alabama fans love that one. Uh, 1993, <clears throat> Auburn was on a one-year television ban and was not eligible for postseason play. And they couldn't be on TV, so the game was sold out at Auburn, and there was a sellout crowd at Alabama who witnessed the stadium game. It was the only game to ever sell out two stadiums at one time. Auburn won 22 to 14, was not eligible for postseason play. In 2009, Alabama got its first ever Heisman Trophy winner with Mark Ingram. He had 17 touchdowns in the whole season, 1,658 yards, and the next year, and Alabama went on to win the national title that year. The next year, Auburn would win the national title with Cam Newton. He was also a Heisman Trophy winner. He was good. The most memorable loss in Alabama history is the 2013 Iron Bowl. Alabama was undefeated and Auburn just came off its worst season in history. And at the last second, Cade Foster was replaced by Adam Griffith, who made a kick that came one yard short of, of being made, and Auburn ran it 100 yards back to win 34-28. to Auburn went on to the national title and lost that year. And here are the sources. Most pulled from these two books, War Eagle and Roll Tide, by two previous players themselves.